When most people find out that I keep a space saver wheel in the back of my car, a lot of people are surprised. They say, I haven't had a flat tire in years, so I don't care. And if I do, I'll just use the bottle of goo that came with the car to put in the hole of the nail made in the, in the, in the tire and I'll get it to a local repair shop or get it towed. And doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. I've had a flat tire last year. My dad had a flat tire shortly afterwards. It can happen to you at any time. And when it does, it will be really inconvenient, especially if it happens on a long road trip when you're out of town, because most tire shops don't keep common tires used by electric cars. What if you do get a space saver spare wheel like I do? This one's sponsored by Browmac, but you could get one from other places as well, depending on who makes space saver spare wheels for your car. Browmac makes one a good one, which also comes in an optional jacking kit for my MG4. Check it out if you're interested. Link is in the description. But if you do have a space saver wheel, whether it's full size or space saver, you can't just leave it in storage in your spare room or in the back of the boot or behind somewhere else in the car tied securely. You've actually got to keep it inflated. A lot of people don't pay attention to the sticker on Space Saver Spare Wheels and they don't realize that it says you have to keep it at 60 PSI, which is way higher than what a tire usually gets inflated to. Usually most people would charge their tire up to maybe 36 or 40 PSI using a tire inflator. But as you can see now, I had forgotten to pump up my spare wheel for a couple months and it had dropped to almost half the level that it should have been, almost 30 PSI. However, using this Ugreen powered inflator, which plugs into my 12 volt socket, I could easily get my spare wheel pumped back up to 60 PSI in no time at all very easy without needing a visit to a smelly petrol station because it's inconvenient. Why do I want to visit a petrol station every time I check my tire pressure? Same with my normal four wheels, which are on the car all the time. I check the tire pressure once a month or so because that's what's recommended by NRMA and my local Bridgestone tire shop. And yeah, it's always lost a few PSI along the way and you've got to adjust it for weather as well because in winter, your tires will be different PSI to summer. Uh, summer will make them inflate a bit more higher level. Anyway, so make sure if you have a space saver spare wheel, don't just leave it stashed. Make sure you pump it up the same time you check all your other wheels up to 60, which is whatever it says on the warning sticker on the space saver spare wheel. Keep it that way and it will be ready to go next time you have a flat tire or your tire wall rips because of construction junk left on the road. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.